Hello, it's me again, Andy from Bix Gaming. I hope we're on a great day. Welcome back to the channel. We are playing Planet Coaster, part two. At the end of the day, a couple of buildings to build today. At the end of the day, get them done before we start building the, the high rise stuff. So let's get on. Let's have some fun. Okay, quick reminder what we're going to do. As I said last time, as we come out the, the front entrance, um, we're going to have a bunch of shops here and possible uh, chair lift or cable car on the right hand side or left hand side. Uh, ready to go up a hill, and on top of the hill, we're going to have a roller coaster, log flume, possible castle somewhere up top. And then they just got to get it in position. Um, so this. It's going to do now is the main building at the end of the day. So, again, we use the same sort of setup, uh, medieval area sort of thing um, as we've done on the other buildings. So, I'm trying to keep the theme the same all the way through. So we've got a shape, uh, a bit bizarre shape. If you look at it, um, I've got a walk through in the middle at the end of the day and probably have a path go around the outside both ways. As I said to the cable car, one way or the other. Um, and we'll have a, a clock on top. So I said, I don't know if I remember the sun last time, I think, well, I need a clock tower. So I thought, well, we have the clock tower in the front at the end of the day. And when we get the ride in, we're, then we come back, then we put the old screens up. Um, I might do some videos for the for the displays. But no, I'll have to work that one out. <laughs> I, might, I might just have blank displays. Uh, we'll see at the end of the day. I just try and come up with an idea where it's just not um, a triangle at the end of the day.
Well, it's now starting to look like something. A building. I just got to get rid of the rubbish what I've left inside. What don't need to be there. Yeah, the cowboy showing all this junk inside. No, I could just leave it there, but I don't. Know, here they. If it all takes up um, computer resources, all these extra bits, and we don't want them hanging around. Especially if I put the asset up for on um, on Steam to download. So we don't want no sort of crap like that hanging around. So it's not looking bad. Not looking bad at the moment. You do some other bits and bobs. Want to put some um, wooden boxes on. See what we come up with. At the end of the day, um, it's a lot of wooden boxes. I'm just trying to come up with an idea where we're going to put them. Now it's starting to take shape, get some shots in, so we're going to have a um, total, two shots in the front, two shots in the back, one on each side, 
the side will be the toilet and the uh, medic and whatever shots we can throw in do some gardens and all sorts of stuff on the front just has some colour to it really but it looks a lot better now than what it did before they got the fascias on the wood on the windows in and then they we obviously got to still do the back end we'll do that later the back end will be basically a copy of the front It's basically just obviously making sure you've got the right um, section at the end of the day for obviously when you do the brickwork because I was it um, it'll stand out with all the wrong places so Peter they don't do that one as a square and then that's always an archway at this time I decided to use the castle base instead of um, the rustic We'll just be a bit different, try and break up a little bit. It's all coming on nicely. And then they let's speed her up.
So now we'll talk, sorting out a pathway, uh, carry on from where the start uh, was. So bringing it out further, put some flower beds in at the end of the day. Uh, finish off the house where we ain't uh, finished it, adding a few more tweaks to it. There to be, uh, as always, I keep going past the buildings and thought oh, maybe I should do this, maybe I should do that. At the end of the day, um, always find something to add. At the end of the day, especially when you ain't played it for a while, because when you go through all the bits and bobs, so like, oh, could have added that, could have added this. At the end of the day. I thought I'd just bring it out a bit further so it overhangs the windows, it looks better. At the end of the day. You see now I've got the obviously the name tags on. And obviously I put the uh, balcony on the front. I need to build a hotel next time, I think. I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna build it. I'm not quite sure to build it up the hill. Or down below. At the end of the day. I mean obviously I've got to start putting rides in. That's a dead shot. I'm going to quickly speed up like this uh, before we get there. I can't understand with this bit here. Uh, why can't this come out the same as the... Uh, the other bit, why has it always got to be on its own? I'm not quite sure why they made that. So you've got to get it at a right angle. I've got, beyond me, um, you've got to turn it into the right position. I mean, every, every other piece, you just put anywhere you want, but this particular piece, uh, I can understand if it was a bit of wood, <laughs> you do all sorts of, but no, this particular piece, it goes there, and it's like, uh, why not set automatically, I'm not quite sure, I don't know, I just want to be awkward, but oh well, that's part of the game, what can we say? I got to this bit here and I thought, I know when I've done it the other side, I let the, that leg from the house come down into the flower bit. And I, I just thought, shall I have it like that? Shall I not have it like that? And when I got this side, I realised, ah, oh, it can't match up um, because the corner of the plant bed gets cut off by the building. So I thought, uh, how awkward can you be? Um, I thought, there's no way I can get around that without moving the flower beds totally. So I thought, okay, what we'll do is completely remove the flower beds um, to a different position and the ones at the back, just to match up. So that's just life. I'm not quite sure when they these go in and why they're so low to the ground. I don't know why they don't come up in the up position. Um, I don't, don't know. Uh, beyond me. So this one we're going to have different flowers. Now, I know I'm a gardener and I'm putting all sorts of flowers in which don't match and like the trees, the seasons don't match. I'm doing it for colour. <laughs> it's for colour. I'm not doing it for, okay, yes, this is how it should be. If I was going to do that, I'd probably design my own flowers and um, come up with a, a, a nice set of colour. But we're not going to do We're not going to go that way. Too much work, that. Uh, but we're just doing it for colour. For colouring. So we'll get our roses in. At the end of the day. I 
Well, I should have done. I should have made these flower beds separate from the the, uh, the path. And then I'd been able to just cut the old damn lot and just move it A to B. Yeah, I did it the long way round. And you didn't learn me lesson on the next one either. So, <laughs> so it's one of those things at the end of the day. And just I thought to myself, okay, when I was making it, well, it just goes in the right position when I put the, be the beds in. But yeah, but when you want to copy it, it comes a bit of a, it don't work that easy. You've got to grab everything separate and then move it. Yeah, as I was building away, I noticed there's a little man, and I thought, where's he come from? And I realised I've not got it on pause. I thought, oh, no, I've got to have it on pause. You don't pause the game while you're building. Your staff walk off. Um, well, I go to a break after a while, and if they're bored out of the red, which these ones will be, because they've got no one coming into the park, <laughs> they end up quitting. And um, when you actually get to the final game, if you actually get that file, finish it and well, let's press the play button, you think, why not open shop to work in? That's oh, because all the staff are quit. So yeah, when you want to do building stuff, yeah, you want to make sure you're always in pause mode. And then they makes life a lot easier. So right, so um, you see where I moved the uh, the path all the way around the building. Got the, pl the flower bed beds in. Um, I've actually gone too far the other side with the, the uh, flab, but not the, where I'm going to put the trees. Um, so I've got a path coming out to the right here on the corner. So I didn't realise that when I was doing it. Now you probably notice that I've got the cable car at the end. I thought, well, why am I got, not showing the cable car? Um, because the cable car in Planet Coaster is not the same as in Planet Zoo. Planet Zoo, you can have multiple stops. And you can just make one station, put a, put a few blinking wires on it, and it, you can just press the test button. And it don't work in plenty coaster. Uh, you've got to have two stops. Um, I thought well, it was a pain because I actually wanted to go like three or four stops, and it won't let me have more than one, more than two stops. Uh, so basically, what we got there, we end up destroying and rebuilding it, and then they so because when I've 
also noticed that when I built that um, building, I've got this stable all the collisions on. So all the wires are going through walls and things, and I never, I never noticed. So it's going to be done again. And then I just got to work out exactly where it's going to go. And then they, because obviously when you come to see the next part, I'm me going up the hill. Um, we have a bit of a nightmare. We end up doing it four or five times. Now, obviously you're not going to see it on, on camera four or five times because I deleted all that other content. Uh, but only to the part where we get it right. So, but yeah, it ended up being a bit of a nightmare. I think it's probably the way I've done it at the end of the day. But I'll talk about it as we're doing it in a second. So we're just finishing off here, getting some more lights in at the end day. I'll probably end up adding a few more features. Might put some colour slabs in, like I've done under the trees at the end of the day. Um, probably add a few more lights, more benches, some more flags, that sort of stuff, just to get it spiced up a little bit more it's quite an open space but we'll see at the end of the day I mean it's looking nice at the moment especially now I've got the clock tower I quite enjoy that it looks nice well I think it looks nice anyway okay just speed up yeah so I built this part here I think four times it just couldn't let it come out right so what I'm going to do now um, is leave the top part the top cable car in position at the end day then put the rotor coaster in position and then they um i've got to turn collision off because i've got it turned on i think at this time um then we fill in all the bits but the plan was to try and get uh, the cable car the coaster and the log flume all on the same platform with a, enough room with a path going through the middle um, what well, ideally was going to be a cable car also going up but the cable car you can't add another to any more to it um, all at the right height so um, just a bit of a nightmare on its own trying to get the right height uh, now what I'm going to do I'm going to use existing rides um, coasters and log flumes now usually I build my own but I thought well I've never actually looked at <laughs> to be honest with you the, the coasters will come with the game and then those so I thought well what I'll do on this particular build on this this part we're going to create I'm going to use these existing uh, coasters as well um, yeah, some of them are damn big I have to say, so yeah, just to try, just try and get the same height as the, uh, the cable car. So when I do the platform, it's all the same height, and all the all the walkways don't disappear. And then again, as I said, we didn't bring over the the log flume and carry on, get the stairs, everything in place. Then we just got to build the roofs and everything around it at the end day, which will be probably the next part because we ain't going to get it done in this video. So, yeah, I mean, I, in the ideal world, what you would do, you have you put the rides in position, um, the start locations, the stations, then build your paths as you do. Then you build the rides where you want to go, but. Because I'm doing it with the rides already made, it's making things extremely difficult. But um, I thought, no, that's the way I'm going to do it in this particular uh, park creation, and then see if it can be done at the end of the day. And it, yes, it does make things a lot more difficult than doing it the other way around. But we got there in the end, and I'll show you. Now uh, in a speed up.
So you can see there, um, as I said, the nightmare. It would have been, but I was trying to do it before. But now I'll sort of sort it out. It's come out nice. So we have a walkway all the way through. And then the cable car come up. Come up there and then can walk up to the next tier, which will be, we do a castle or some sort of thing up the top. At the end of the day. Um, so that's going to be a bridge going over the coaster and a little flume. Or no, just over the little flume, I think. Now, it was going to be another ride. I was going to get a third log flume, the second log flume in, but um, that's too difficult. And then they, not unless I make one from scratch. Oh, well, yeah, it's all come out right. I'll just make sure nothing's, because obviously I've got collision been turned on and off. Um, just make sure the coaster and the log flume is, is working flowing at the end of the day. And I take a chunk out of the build at the, the mountain at the end of the day. So yeah, I was planning to build, um, get this in there, but we've got no. There's not enough space at the end of the day. It's, it's just it's not going to happen. Not in that location anyway. So what I might do down the side, the left hand side, or as you go up, we might do a stairway coming down the other side, and then the other logs from the other side. So. So I'm just working out the stairs. Um, at the end there, they're going to go up. Okay, I like building the old brickwork for the stairs. Um, I don't really like the supports that come with the game. I never really have. I will cut most of this out because this is a most of this stair building is quite tedious. <laughs> it's going back over stuff, looking at stuff you can't see because obviously you keep going in and outside the blinking mountain and under the stairs, and it's a bit of a nightmare. Um, we get there in the end. And then they, the way I want it to be. It also be, should be nice if they had a, a curve wall, which is the same width of the stairs. But they don't do that in the game, so you end up making a square piece. But yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, um, it comes out okay in the end. Like I said, it's, it's nothing major bad.
So now I've got the stairs out of the way. Um, concentrate on the uh, the lift. And then they. Oh, say lift, cable car. As I said in the beginning, come back and redo it. Just gonna change a few things to what I, I wanted to. Um, on the first time I was playing around with it. Gonna have the towers in it. Still gonna have towers, but a slightly different position and make it into a bit more like a barn at the end of the day nice black barn with some windows in it at the end of because we've got glass if i remember rightly make use of the glass make up some windows make a glass top and do a similar sort of feature in the second one at the end of the day i will check with planet zoo but i swear on the one i've got in planet zoo you can have multiple rides I cannot get multiple rides to work in here. I can I can on the train, so I'll check the old videos. The train I can get multiple rides, but on this coke on this on this lift. Now I don't know if the chairlift's different. I would have thought the chairlift was exactly the same, just better chairlift in not um an internal uh seating area. So um but I will check with Planet Zoo. See if they've updated it. But I couldn't get um multiple rides to work and when i looked on youtube no one else has done multiple rides it's all a to b and then get off go to another one basically c to d and so, and so and so um so i'll just take it it can't be done in planet coaster pretty really um, I wanted a third tier <laughs> to go to the top where the castle is but unfortunately there's not enough room I might be able to get one around the other side of the coaster um, then go up to the castle but I don't know I'll have to work out at the end of the day. We'll, we'll see Is it me, or is it really difficult to see glass? You see it's black. Look at that, that's the art to see. At the end of the day, bam, art to see. My plan is we'll have glass panels all the way across here, except where the doors are. And again at the back, and on the roof. That's the plan, at the end of the day. If I can actually see this glass gun in position, it's really, really difficult. <laughs> I don't remember being that hard to see on Planet Zoo. Mind you, saying that Planet Zoo's got a frame, so yeah. When we've done this, um, I think what will happen when we finish this is this coaster 
um, set off this this part. I don't know where the episode will be, probably 10, something like that. Well, then we'll do a Planet Zoo. Then we'll do something on there, then we come back to this. And vice versa, keep going back. And if they ever release something else, another planet thing, uh, we'll jump into that as well. Now, I've got a funny feeling, I know people keep looking on the forums and saying, okay, Planet Zoo 2 next. No, I don't think it'll be Planet Zoo 2. I've got a funny feeling, yeah, if they keep to the original plan like they've done in uh, what, Planet, is it called Planet Tozer? Um, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 series. What was it? It was uh, Roller Coasters, Animals, and Swimming Pools. So I reckon the next version will be Splash. I do. Because obviously, if you look at the second one, Planet Zoo, they fixed the water problem. They added glass at the end of the day. They added improved waterfalls at the end of the day. I reckon the next theme park they may they come out with will be Splash. Yeah, or Water Park, or whatever they're going to call it. Yeah, that could be wrong. Now, I don't expect it to come out until next year. But I reckon that'll be the next thing. And then, because I, I, personally, I actually enjoyed the Water Park when we had Planet Coaster 3, or Road Coaster 3, or whatever it's called. I did more Water Park stuff than what I did anything else. Um, I thought it was good fun. Now you probably say, am I going to buy an enhanced version of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3? No, I've got the original set. I'm not buying another copy of a game I've already got. Sorry, I just don't go back. I don't go back in time. Um, I only do that if basically it's way better than what we've already got. But I think Planet Coaster series and Planet Zoo, I think it's, it's good. Yeah, there is a lot of features in the Roller Coaster Tycoon um, series, I think was way better. Um, especially when it comes to do paths. I think paths was a lot easier. Uh, but, I don't know. I, I can't possibly see me going back. Okay, you speed up. Get this building finished.
Okay, so just let's finish off. Let's get these flowers done. Yeah, I'll do it, make the same mistake as I've done in the last set of flower beds. There they may. Make sure I grab them all, cut them all across this time. So it's all come on quite nicely. You can't complain at the end of the day. Um, if you've got any ideas, what should put in it in the park, you can always let me know below at the end of the day. And it, as before, I hope you enjoyed parts one and part two and the channel um, at the end of the day. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. So we get the old beds done. At the end of the day, I mean, I might put some uh, some benches in, cut a path here and now, yeah, off off cam, yeah, do a few tedious bits, get them out of the way. And we'll have a look at it all in a minute. What we've done. And get your flowers done. So, we are done. Let's take a quick look at what we've done. In the next episode, we get those buildings done on the top there. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. And I'll see you in part three. And yeah, our funnel.